Yeah. <laughs> uh, something smooth yet sinister. Coming through to diminish you. And this here's the finisher. <laughs> Check it out. Uh. Guys, it is your boy Trey coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web. And today I'm sure you guys know we had a little server maintenance take place earlier today here on uh, July 13th. So uh, what they added to the game this week guys, uh, we have a new uh, Frontier Gate dungeon. Alright, it is the Endless Corridor, alright. And it literally is endless, but it kind of just repeats itself after a while. So um, good rewards to be had in that guys if you can go far. Definitely be looking out for that video. Uh, uh, a little later this week, I'm gonna try to aim to get that release for you folks there. And then um, what we're gonna be discussing today, though, we got new Omni units, folks. We got my boy Avant and my boy Chrysanthemum. What? <laughs> so two new Omni Evos for you guys, Avant and Kranz, baby. Two uh, pretty well-known units here. So I don't understand how that happens when I X out of the news. It's really weird me out. All right, so here we go. First one, we're going to go ahead and evolve, guys. All right, we're going to start with the father of Vargas, my big man, Avon. All right, so to evolve your Avon up to his Omni form, here's what your folks are going to need. All right, two Fire Mecha Gods, Miracle Totem, Fire Totem, Fire Pot, Metal Mimic, Dragon Mimic, Legend Stone, three million Zell, one million Karma. And you can take that bad boy on up to his next level. You heard me? So. Avant, still a well-known damage dealing beast, man. And that's what we're going to get into. A little bit of discussion here. And soon as we evolve him. So let's get him on up there. Omni status, baby. Check it out, boy. Check it out. Power up. Super Saiyan. There he is there. It seems he found the path that's right for him. Now I must find my own path. Yeah, dig. Well, look at that Dan Demagus. That thing looking. Oh, way. <laughs> All right, guys. So, enough of the sappy talk. Let's go ahead and get into what this guy's capable of here. All right. So, my boy Vaughn. This was my unit of choice, too. Same one. Anima type, baby. Boof. All right. So, here we go. What is Avon all about? So, first, we got the uh, normal attack. All right. His normal attack is 12 hits. Has an opportunity to get up to four per hit. For a total of 48 on the normal attack. Right? His BB is a uh, 14 hit AOE. It's going to take you 24 BCs to get that BB gauge filled. And it has a drop check of 1 per hit of course. For 14 per enemy units. And a 360% damage modifier on that bad boy. Not too bad alright. Next thing we have up is the SBB. It is a 20 hit AOE attack going to take you 30 BCs to fill up the SBB gauge so you need a total of 54 to completely fill up the uh, BB and SBB gauge to get this boy to unleash alright so um, it has a drop check of 1 per enemy unit that'll be 20 per enemy unit 560% damage modifier okay lastly we have the UBB it is a 25 hit AOE attack going to take you 25 BCs to fill that gauge up Drop check per enemy unit is 1 per hit, so that's 25 per enemy unit, and it has a damage modifier starting at 1500, able to go all the way up to 2500 at max HP, alright? It's one of those UBBs where the more HP you got, the more damage it deals, baby. So, that's what we got there. Um, on the imp side of things, uh, he's a little different on the imps than uh, normal, okay? On the HP, he goes up to 1250. On attack, he goes up to 800. On defense, he goes up to 400. And on recovery, he goes up to 500. All right. Now, next thing, let's talk about that leader skill. All right. So his leader skill is called Starfire Phoenix Blade. All right. 50% boost to max HP. Hugely boost critical damage. That's by 150%, folks. 100% boost to spark damage. And enormously boost BB attack. And the BB attack is increased by 200% on that leader skill, right? Beautiful stuff. Now, his extra skill I don't have unlocked because I just evolved him, of course. It will probably be unlocked the second this video ends, honestly, all right? But his extra skill is called Burning Wings of Freedom. All right, you do need his, uh, his sphere in order to fully take advantage of his extra skill, all right? His sphere is called the Dandemagus. 
You obtain it from completing his uh, Grand Gaia Chronicles dungeon, which is the newest one in Global Brave Frontier right now. So um, I've already got the video guide out for that in case you guys need help. Well, otherwise, just wreck it, yo. Get this sphere, okay? But what his extra skill does, 30% boost to all stats when the Dandy Magus is equipped. Boost attack when BB gauge is full. All right. So that is a 50% boost and boost attack relative to remaining HP. All right. And that is by 0.5% per 1% of HP he has. So basically at full HP, he's going to get an, an additional 50% boost to his attack. All right. Beautiful stuff. Now his BB here is called Flare Stride. 14 combo, powerful fire attack on all foes. Probable spark vulnerability infliction for two turns. All right, so you got a 25% chance to hit him with that spark vulnerability, which will increase your spark damage by 25%. Beautiful stuff. All right, hugely boost attack for three turns. That's by 160%. All right, that's tied even with the uh, highest buffs on BB slash SBBs to date in global, I do believe. All right, and enormously boosts critical hit rate for three turns, and that's by 60%, which has been pretty much the max since the beginning of time with critical hit rate. I don't think it ever goes above 60, all right? His SBB is called the Genus Vaporizer, all right? 20 combo, powerful fire attack on all foes, probable spark vulnerability infliction for two turns, and on the SBB, it is a 30% chance to increase your spark damage by 30%. All right, pretty nice stuff there. Considerably boosts attack relative to max HP. That is a 20% conversion. So 20% of your HP is now converted to your attack. And usually boosts BB attack for three turns. And that is by 300%. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Lastly, his almighty powerful UBB. The Sparkling Soul Breaker. 25 combo massive fire attack on all foes. Once again, that damage is relative to his remaining HP. So the more HP he has, the more damage it will deal. Up to a 2,500% damage modifier with full HP, folks. All right. And enormously boosts spark damage. All right. Spark damage is boosted by 250%. It enormously boosts BB attack, which is by 500%. And enormously boosts critical damage for three turns which is by 300%, all right? Very powerful stuff, guys. He's just taking your damage and skyrocketing it. That's what he's uh, known for, okay? Now, of course, he is an army unit, so uh, once you max his level, as well as his uh, BB level, you unlock the UBB, then you unlock the enhancement, so you can start, go ahead and stock an SP points to use on this bad boy. So, here are your options for Avon, okay? The first is a parameter boost, all right? 20 points, you can increase his attack by 50%. All right, so as far as the critical hits, you've got 10 points, you can boost his critical hit damage by 50%. You got the attack boost, 20 points, you can boost his BB attack when his HP is over 50% by 50%. His BB gauge, 30 points, slightly boost BC efficacy, that's by 15%. Now you're getting into the uh, special stuff now. So for 20 points, you can enhance the 50% boost to max HP on his leader skill by 10%. So it'll be a 60% boost to the HP. All right, not bad. For 50 points, you can enhance his BB attack boost effect added to his SBB and UBB. All right, so it'll basically increase both of them by 100% which will make it a total of 400% increase on the SBB and a total of a 600% boost on the UBB. Powerful stuff. Lastly, well not lastly, next up for 50 points you can add critical hit damage boost effect to his BB and SBB. All right, So it'll be a 50% boost to critical hit damage for three turns added to his BB and SBB. Okay. And now lastly, which is pretty much on every unit, for 60 points, you can allow his UBB to last for four turns instead of three turns, all right? So you get an additional turn, all right? And that's about it for all the brunt, all right? Top to bottom, that man's a beast, all right? So you're talking about inflicting damage. You found the unit right there, guys, okay? Now, for the one I'm more excited about, don't know about you guys, I like Avant, but this has been my boy since day one right here, my woke Krantz, son.
All right, so to evolve Krantz, you're going to need two light mecha gods, Miracle Totem, Light Totem, Light Pot, Metal Mimic, Dragon Mimic, one Legend Stone, three million Zell, one million Karma. All right, a lot of mats, guys, but these units are worth it. They are so OP. They are the epitome of OP in this game, man. So uh, let's get, get, get it. See what they're capable of, huh? Let's watch that beautiful Omni animation one more time, boy. Come on out of there, Krantz. There you go. Me, an Elder Summoner. It's a heavy burden, but I will do my best. For all those who believe in me, I do, Krantz. That's my dog. <laughs> All right, so that beautiful and lovely animal Krantz, baby. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so let's talk about the beast that is known as Krantz. All right, so on the normal attack, he has a 12 hit normal attack. You have an opportunity to get up to four on the drop check per hit for a total of 48 B, uh, drop check. All right, his BB is a 15 hit AoE attack gonna take you 28 BCs normally 28 BCs to fill that up all right um, it's got a drop check of one per enemy unit for a total of 15 per enemy unit damage modifier of 340 percent all right next thing we got is the SBB it is an 18 hit AOE attack all right 23 BCs to fill that up and it's gonna take you a total of 51 all right between the BB and the SBB to get the, that gauge filled up for SBB, okay. Um, drop check of one per enemy unit for a drop check of 18 per enemy unit. Damage modifier is 500% on that, all right. And then lastly, we got the UBB. It is a 23 hit AoE attack. Going to take you 25 BCs to get that fit gauge filled up. Drop check of one per enemy unit per hit, all right. And the UBB damage modifier is 1300%, okay. Now, when it comes to the imps, 1250 on the HP, 400 on attack, 800 on defense, 500 on recovery, all right? So, uh, Krantz is very HP focused, all right? Which you will learn here shortly, okay? So, his leader skill uh, hasn't really changed much. It's basically like the starters uh, for the most part, but with the Rainbow Squad, all right? So, his leader skill is called Five Lights Decree. 50% boost to attack and 30% boost to max HP when five elements or more are present. All right, so that it tells you you're gonna have to use a rainbow squad if you're gonna put Krantz's lead in order to get the full benefit of his leader skill, okay? Now, it also has an additional 100% boost to attack and 30% boost to max HP for all allies, all right? They do stack, okay? Huge boost to BCHC drop rate, that's about 20%. And usually boost BB gaze each turn, and that is about six BCs per turn. Beautiful stuff. Alright. Now for his extra skill, you are going to need also his uh exclusive sphere in order to be able to fully activate his extra skill. Alright. His is called the Virtuous Cape. The way that you get uh his sphere is to complete the uh Grand Quest mission, alright, with him and the rest of his batch. It's a pain in the freaking you know where. But uh, it is possible to get done, okay? I already got the guide up for that as well. So if you guys need help, go ahead and go check that out, okay? But uh, in order or his uh, in order to fully activate his extra skill, you do need that sphere called the Virtuous Cape. What it does, 30% boost to all parameters when the Virtuous Cape is equipped. Probable 20% damage reduction, all right? And reduces BB gauge required for BB, okay? So 20% uh, chance to reduce damage by 20%. And also a 20% uh, reduction in the BB gauge. Okay, beautiful stuff. Now his BB is called Swallow's Heavenly Decree. All right, so it is a 15 combo light attack on all foes, removes all status elements, adds light and dark elements to attack for three turns, and 50% damage reduction for one turn. So uh, in case you didn't know, you must be living under a rock or be a new player. But he is a mitigator, okay? Now, SBB is called Deus Claymore. 18 combo, powerful light attack on all foes. Greatly restores HP by about 3,500 to 4,000 plus 40% of his own recovery. All right, beautiful stuff. A lot of HP healed there. That's why Krantz is such a beast, yo. 
adds light and dark elements to attack for three turns, considerably boosts BCHC drop rate, that is by 35%, and of course the 50% damage reduction for one turn. Lastly, you have the UBB, which is called Etheria Divider, 23 combo massive light attack on all foes, enormously boosts attack relative to defense for three turns, that is a 150% conversion, guys, all right? Beautiful stuff. 75% damage reduction for three turns, so we got that mitigation. And then to top it all off, adds all elements to your squad's attack for three turns. Beautiful, baby. Beautiful stuff right there from my man, Krantz. He's the bee's knees, baby. All right, so let's go ahead and get into his SP skills, guys, or, or his enhancements. All right, so here we go. First, you have the parameter boost. 20 SP points to get you a 20% boost to all stats, all right? Now, uh, for 10 points, you can boost his defense when his HP is over 50%, all right? Not bad. Now, for 20 points, you can make the damage taken slightly boost his BB gauge, and that'll be about 2 to 3 when he deals damage or when he receives damage, okay? Next up, getting to the special stuff. For, for, for 40 points, you can add a considerable defense boost relative to recovery effect to the BB and SBB, all right? And that'll be a 50% conversion, all right? For another 40 points, add probable slight HP restoration when attacked effect to BB and SBB, all right? So when you get attacked, you get a 20% chance to heal 20 to 25% of the damage that was taken back to your unit. It's a pretty uh, useful buff in certain situations, guys. Not a lot, but in certain situations, it's very useful, okay? Next up, for 10 points, add status element removal effect to his SBB, all right? For 10 points, you can add HP restoration when attacking effect to his BB, all right? BB only, not SBB, not UBB. Keep that in mind, all right? Now, for 50 points... And this is pretty much a mandatory SP skill, all right? Do what you want to do with the other 50 points. But th th this 50 right here, you're definitely going to want, all right? So for 50 points, allows 50% damage reduction to last for two turns, all right? So he'll be just like the Lord Magus, unfortunately, being another unit able to drop that mitigation for two turns after using the BB or SBB for one turn, all right? Very excellent buff. Hands down, one of the best in the game, baby. And then lastly, you have for 50 points allows the UBB to last for four turns, all right? And what's good about Krantz, usually that last buff that gives that UBB for an extra turn, that thing usually goes for like 60 points or more, all right? On Vargas, it's freaking all 100 of his points, which is ridiculous to me. But uh, on most other units, it's like 60 points minimum. On Krantz, it's only 50. All right, so in, in my opinion, that kind of makes it worthwhile. Maybe if you have like another Krantz you want to build a different way, I wouldn't do this with your main Krantz, all right? But if you have an extra one you want to build up, hey, I, I don't think that's a bad one to go for, okay? But um, other than that, that's what this beast is all about, top to bottom, all right? So two new very powerful Omni units in the game, guys. Both are very useful, all right? My opinion, I think Krantz is going to be a lot more useful than Avant. But that is not to say that Avon is garbage. He is not by any means, guys, okay? So, um, that pretty much wraps this one up. Hope you guys found it helpful, informative, and uh, enjoyed, enjoyed it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to leave a thumbs up, a like on the video. It's greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more Brave Frontier content, baby. Last but not least, if you haven't already, link is down below in the description for the Facebook group. Go ahead and send a request to join. We'll get you in ASAP, baby. Other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for chilling out with your boy. And I'll catch you in the next Brave Frontier video. Peace out, people.